and uh, welcome to Bill T's Business Book Review number nine. And uh, this is Traction by Gina Wickman. Uh, really, 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 really good book. It was a book that was, uh, this actual book was given to me by a friend um, who was running a uh, chatbot building business. So totally unrelated, but we were just talking about uh, things over a beer back in the day when you could have beers. And um, he said, that, yeah, he's had this book and he yeah, absolutely encompassed all the things that he needed to do. And I just thought, what, what is it? And he said, I'll give it you because I read it. So this is the actual book. I si subsequently bought probably about 30 copies of this to give away to people um, who I've met who said that they're having troubles scaling their business. It's all around them. It's all. You know, as in the, the, everything seems to come on them and all this kind of stuff and delegating, getting a structure in place. And this book has really helped them more than any other book that I have handed out to people. This one is the one to read. So if you want to uh, understand how to align vision, succession, process improvement, agility, etc., etc., it's all in this one book. So the areas that you, it covers off. Well, actually, I'll give you a page nine. There is a definition of this. In summary, it says, successful businesses operate with a crystal clear vision that is shared by everyone. They have the right people in the right seats. They have a pulse on the operations by watching and managing a handful of numbers on a weekly basis. They identify and solve issues promptly in an open and honest environment. They document their processes and ensure they're followed by everyone, and they establish priorities for each employee. And that's what this book will allow you to do. And it's all actually the way you do it. It covers six, five, six areas, give or take. There's uh, vision, people, data, process, and traction, the name of the book, that has to keep the momentum going. So running through it. As an entrepreneur, you generally start a business up with a vision. It's very, very clear. You absolutely know what it is. The trouble is that not everybody else gets it. And as you get bigger, it gets more diluted, that kind of um, vision. And what this does is it allows you to get a kind of a breakout session. This, this is, a, you know, something that I, what we did. We got an external moderator, a lady called Elaine Ashworth, who is fantastic, is fantastic. And um, we do this now on a 90-day uh, basis which I'll come on to later so that's where we redefined what webmarks about what what is our reason for being and what is our niche what is it that we are the best at doing and we get consensus on that you batter it around a, a fair bit but you actually come back to this being really really helpful and it obviously will continually refine and evolve over time the key thing is that within that vision is the values the core values of the business, the things that matter to me as the founder of the business, the inviables, uh, the red lines that you don't want to go past. Many things you, you're kind of pretty ambivalent about, but the core of your culture is what you uh, have to do. And that, that becomes explicit rather than implicit. Um, and then you build a 10-year plan around your niches along the lines of the culture, which, you know, 10 years, I mean, it's bonkers in one sense. However, you then break it into, you know, you can do a five-year plan, but you break it into a year plan, then into 90-day plan. So you, you make it into manageable and meaningful things. Uh, you then study about people. People, rather like in, in Good to Great that I've uh, done the uh, uh, book review on before, it's all about getting the right people on the bus. Or in this case, um, Gina says, the right people in the right seat, similar kind of thing. Understanding that person, understanding what makes them special, their unique um, if you like, uh, a unique uh, special source that they have. Um, and then when, when you've got the right people on there, you then have what they call an accountability chart where you put who's responsible for everything else in there. And there's two key roles that come out of that. One is the company vis uh, visionary, as they call it. It's typically the, the founder, but not always. And then there's the integrator. These are the two key, the yin and the yang of the business who gets the uh, driver and the, uh, the enabler and empower and those that, that it's interesting that you break those two apart and it actually works really well because typically uh, the um, founder or the visionary isn't necessarily very good at the implementation or the consistency of it and all this kind of thing you need two different types of things so that, that was good 
He then moves on to data, and we all know we're in a data-driven world. But you look at the very few things that make a material difference. And it, again, earlier book review, if you look at the 80-20 paradox, fantastic book, and it's looking for those 20% things that matter on the scorecard that you look at in a weekly management meeting. These are the things that, uh, that really matter and really don't focus on anything else. So it's that laser focus on the real important things, the 20% of things that make 80% of, of difference to the organization um, as you do through, run through that. Another chapter is it on issues, because there are always barriers, blockers, constraints, you know, the theory of constraints. Um, it's the one, it's always, you're held back by the constraints of your business, not by the opportunity, you know, opportunity, direct race said, but you're always, you know, uh, it's the weakest link in the chain. So look at the issues, study them, um, and make sure that you understand what they are and work really tirelessly to get them out, get these blockers out of the way. And then traction and, and process. So process standardizes to the best practice. So everybody runs the same way, does the same thing, which is really important. Uh, and of course, it can be reviewed and it will be evolved. But at the time, you look at it and you operate it the same way for everybody. You get that standardized excellence, which quite often you build into systems these days, as well as training plans or what have you. I think it talks about that and how to review those processes to make sure they're the right size, and then traction. And this is where the, the concept, which is common parlance now in webmark, is the rocks and the pebbles. The rocks are the big things that you need to do. And if you think about a bucket of time, 90 days, typically you review on the 90-day period, that 90 days is a bucket of time. That's the one immutable thing that we can never change. It is that time. In that time, to hit the vision, we need to, we're working it back in a stage to the next time, what do we need to do to get to that vision in the next nine days? And those big things that we need to do are rocks. And once you lock them at the beginning of a pro of, of a ninety day period, it doesn't change. Nothing gets in the way of a rock. In between the rocks are the pebbles. So in the book, you know, think of the metaphorical bucket. You've got big rocks, and then you put pebbles in there, and they fill in in between. So it's rocks and pebbles, and you manage the rocks. The rocks are the ones that you have to come back at the next ninety day review. And com you commit to the team that you're going to do it, and then you deliver it. And it really does work, and it's a fantastic book. So I can't commend it enough. Um, I'd really like uh, people to have a read of it and let me know how uh, they go on it. For some people, I've given it to people who run fashion businesses and very different businesses from Webmart, uh, you know, being a marketing services company. Of, um, but it, they're equally applicable. Um, and there are supporting books as well. So that's one for staff. What the heck is EOS? Does what it says on the tin. That'd be a great book. Rocket Fuel. Um, so these are all in a kind of Gina Wickman library, if you like. And I would str I would very much strongly recommend it. And if you want to actually just get on with it in the approach, it's on page 222. And, it just, and there's loads of, you know, uh, self-assessment things within it and references to the website for service but that's where it just says right how to get on with it and this is the order you do it in referring to that so traction by Gino Wickman fantastic book get it on Amazon on the link and uh, make Barnsley Samaritans a, a, a half a percent um, but uh, yeah I hope you enjoy it and uh, certainly it's a it's a good read bit American I have to say but it's uh you know, once you get over that, then uh, it's a really, really, really good read. And I think not one person wouldn't take something out of that to improve their business. And the rocks and the pebbles for me were the thing where you just, instead of everything getting in the way of the things that matter, you just focus on the stuff that you need to change to go to move the business forward. And as a, a you know, business leader, I want to I want to step out. And how do you bring people through, which is obviously what you want to do, succession and it, development and stuff, and it, it's all in there. So uh, you just enjoy it. Anyway, have a lovely rest of day. Gino Wickman, Traction.